Okay, today we have a Motorola Triumph from Virgin Mobile. We're going to show you how to do a full flash in um, Flash Talk Android Studio. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and turn the device on. And as you can see, it's Virgin Mobile. It is a brand new device. It's uh, never been activated. So we'll go ahead and we need to set the phone in debug mode and also check stay awake and we need stay awake so that the phone can enter diag mode uh, I will show you apparently the home button on this device doesn't seem to want to work normally you would need the pound pound P O R T port pound and I don't know the MSL so we are gonna get that and we'll flash this phone without really touching more than the program. So go ahead and launch up Flash Talk Android Studio. Oops, click the background. So as you can see, we've picked up the device, Mobile Triumph, because you Virgin Mobile, the latest ROM. Uh, video 3G, etc., etc. The carriers it can be full flash to. So, um, the first thing I, I like to do is provision the phone. So, we'll go ahead and provision the phone. Um, now, in order to do this, we need to use our auto diag mode here. Sorry, this camera sucks. And to use the auto diag mode, we actually have to select the Motorola Triumph from the drop down list manually. And I'm going to back up to show you just kind of what it does. And we'll go ahead and click it. And what this does is set our diag mode, as you can see. And refresh our COM port list. And then we have COM32, etc., etc. Go ahead and connect. And the reason why it needs to be stay awake is so that the device can actually interface with it. Um, without um, without it being stay awake and if the device sleeps then it's not going to switch to the correct COM port and then you'll just end up having issues anyway so anyway so we've connected to our device we're going to go ahead and type in a dummy number and a dummy man and you don't have to, but it's always good to select the correct market. So we're going to go ahead and just click it. And let's go ahead and do the Salt Lake City market. So Salt Lake City market. And, oops. And go ahead and close. So as you can see, our PRO version 61007. And I'm going to flash this to Cricket. So. So as you can see, the phone will reboot itself. And now the phone's been provisioned to Cricut. So, um, as you can see, it did get our SBC here. So go ahead and back out. Sorry, this isn't a professional video. I'm just kind of demoing the Motorola Triumph. Okay, so as you can see, we're connected. It's always good to wait for the phone to fully boot up before rooting and MMS and things. Um, now, we don't need to root to get picture mail or internet, um, but if you can root the phone, might as well root it. There's no point in not rooting the phone. So we'll go ahead and start it. The exploit may take a little while. Um, during this exploit, you you will have to have an SD card, and it will have to be recognized by the phone in order to do um, in order to do the route.
Now I can usually do flashes within about three minutes. Um, if not faster, I'm just obviously going through and demoing, demoing it. So now it's basically just looking for the phone again and going to check to make sure that it was rooted. Uh, the phone had to be rebooted in order to verify root access. So once the phone reboots, I will demonstrate, demonstrate, demonstrate. Oops. So you piece of crap. So your device has been rooted. Uh, sorry, I was clicking things, and now I'll go ahead and show you that the Virgin Mobile phone has been rooted. Scroll down to the bottom, and there's our super user icon. Now, for MMS, etc., you would normally just click on Cricut, type in the phone number. Apparently, I forgot to fix that. And then you would just go ahead and program the phone. You'd watch for the root access. And then you're done. Fully provisioned, fully rooted.